Hello everyone, this is Karishma Ahuja from Mastermind Training India. I am a metaphysics teacher, a law of attraction and vibration practitioner and a whole Ponopono teacher. I help one understand their own state of consciousness and do certain techniques to help us start raising the bar, going a step higher to start achieving much more than we have ever imagined in our lives. Friends, today I am here to talk to you about becoming a strong problem solver in your life. Yes, it is very important for us to be able to not just deal with what shows up in our life, but be able to master the situation. And I am going to be taking you to three important steps that will help you become a strong problem solver in your life. Friends, the first step to be able to solving any problem in your life is accepting what has just happened. Acceptance. You know, most of us get caught up in the why me syndrome. Why is this happening to me? Why did my boss fire me? Why did he leave me? Why did she do that to me? Why did I lose all my money? The why, why, why gets so dominant in our lives that we forget to understand if I don't go beyond the why me, I am going to be just where I was. You know, sometimes the fault we perceive in another person could be a total misrepresentation of a conditioned mind inside of me that somewhere seeks pleasure in blaming another person. Therefore, I must make sure I get out of that blame game because I cannot be sure of the exact cause of that problem. It could be that it was not the right time for me to receive something and therefore it happened. It could also be that this had to happen because it was here to give me a strength that I never experienced before to do something much bigger than I've ever done before. Because I know one thing for sure, whenever something happens to me, it is always and always happening for me to give me strength. So sometimes you may fall lower than you've ever fallen only to rise higher than you ever imagined. Therefore, accept the situation. And one way to accept is, is to state to yourself whatever has happened. I have lost my job. Repeat to yourself, I have lost my job. This is a reality. I accept what has happened. Wherever you start accepting what has happened, see how different you start feeling about how the situation can turn around. Let's go to step number two. After accepting what has happened, we got to own it. Now, this is a critical step. You not only accept what has happened, but you begin to take 100% responsibility. And by 100% responsibility, we mean we start thinking about what we could do next. I'm responsible for whatever has happened. I am responsible for whatever has happened. So now, what do I do next? Now, unless and until you don't do this particular step, of taking responsibility you can never get the power to resolve it the moment you start saying I am responsible see how ideas start pouring into your mind about how you could go about with handling the situation the universe will present to you people circumstances situations and opportunities that you never imagined because you were willing to take responsibility one question why you should take 100% responsibility for your life Firstly, do you believe that you are a creator in your life? If you believe that you can create your reality, then all the people who showed up in your life, all that went wrong or right, wasn't it your responsibility because it showed up in your life? Friends, we cannot become powerful achievers if we don't assume responsibility for whatever has happened. After assuming responsibility, the last step towards solving the problem and perhaps the most beautiful thing that you could do to yourself is loving the problem. How do you love the problem? You can love the problem by simply mentally repeating to yourself, I love you. And whenever you think of the problem and a mental picture of what has just happened comes up, keep mentally repeating, I love you. Although spoken in silence, these words will shine in your eyes. You cannot imagine the power of the words of I love you. Because the most healing word ever, the most powerful vibration ever is the power of love. 
what we are doing through this step is we are covering a problem with love which means we are now ready to solve our problems have you ever come across anybody who's achieved great things but was unhappy with his life can you expect a miracle to take place in your life if you're fighting with your existing reality no we cannot be fighting with our existing reality and expecting miracles to take place in our lives uh, important point to remember if you don't love your problem if you don't love whatever has happened in your problem you will never be in a position to solve it because only love can heal a situation hate can't another reason for you to love what has happened is the more you love the problem the more you stop fighting with the problem because love and fight and love and hate don't go together at all can you imagine fighting with someone but you completely taking your hand off and saying i don't want to fight do you think there would ever be a match or a game the answer is a no there would never be a match likewise friends when we start loving the problem we take power off the problem the problem is ready to be resolved remember the words i love you whenever you're upset about something and see the beauty that this word and this vibration brings into your life this is karishma auja thank you